This video is about past tense conjugation. الفعل الماضي الفعل الماضي Previously we did the present tense if you remember. So now I will start with past tense. Past tense verbs take suffixes. If you remember the present tense, when we did the present tense, we said the present tense sometimes takes prefix, sometimes it takes suffix. So I just want to remind you what suffix. Suffix, letters, you add them to the end of the word. Prefix is the opposite. Prefix is letters you attach them to the beginning of the word. Now, all past tense verbs are suffixes. All past tense verbs are suffixes. Letters, you add them to the end of the verb. Let's get started. Now we have 13 pronouns, so you should learn how to conjugate 13 pronouns. All the suffixes in the red column you need to memorize. If you don't memorize them, then you cannot conjugate any past tense verb. You need to memorize them. Let's start with the first pronoun, ana. How we conjugate ana? By suffix ta dhamme to the verb. Here I have example for you for the verb daras to study. Ana daras tu. Daras tu. You have to suffix ta with dhamme. Nahnu. The second pronoun. Daras na. You suffix noon and alif. So you leave the verb as it is. Don't play with the verb. You just add. You just suffix. Anta. Daras ta. You suffix ta with fatha. Anti. Daras ti. Suffix ta with kasra. Antuma. Daras tuma. You suffix ta dhamme mim alif. Daras tuma. Antum. Daras tum. Antunna. Daras tunna. You suffix ta dhamme noon shadde fatha. Hua. For the pronoun hua, you just need to suffix short vowel fatha. That's it, no letters, just short vowel. Hua darasa. Leave the verb as it is, just suffix fatha. Hia darasat. Ta with sukun. Huma for a male. Darasa. Huma for a female. Darasata. Hum darasu. You suffix wow alif. Alif is a silence, you don't pronounce it. Again, hum darasu. Don't pronounce alif. Hunna darasna. Let's do another example. Ana for the verb katab to write. Katab to I wrote. Nahnu katabna. Anta katabta. Anti katabti. Antuma katabtuma. Antum katabtum. Antunna katabtunna. Hua kataba. Remember, no letters, just short vowel fatha. Hia katabat. Huma kataba. Huma for a female katabata. Hum katabu. Don't pronounce alif. Hum again katabu. Hunna katabna. Let's see how to negate past tense. The way you negate past tense, let's see this example first. Daras tu al Arabi. How you say I did not study Arabic? How you negate? The way you negate, you just precede the past tense by the word ma. Ma darastu al Arabi. Darastu al Arabi, I studied Arabic. Ma darastu al Arabi, I did not study Arabic. So you just precede ma by the past tense verb. Now I want you to practice here by yourself. While you're practicing, try to memorize all these suffixes. You should memorize them. I will do the first one for you, then you do the rest. Here I want you also to negate. So you, the first column, you conjugate past tense, then you negate past tense. 
The first one, Anna. Amal to. So here I'm using the verb amala. Amal to. How you say I did not work? Ma amal to. Amal to. I worked. Past tense. Ma amal to. I did not work. Please try to finish the rest of them.